Scandinavian today. I am going to make a Danish uh, Jule cake or Christmas cake. It's with yeast. Uh, we're getting close to the holidays, so let's get going with it. There's a lot to do. So here you see all the ingredients for my Christmas cake. I have two and a half cup of flour. I have about four ounces of raisin, half yellow raisins, half brown raisins. Then I have about four ounces of fruitcake mix. And then I use the following. Uh, about half a cup or approximately half a cup of chopped almonds. And I have one package of yeast, active dry yeast, which I'm going to mix into about uh, three quarter cups of warm milk. And to that I'm also adding a tablespoon of sugar and I'm also using half a teaspoon of uh, salt. I'm using one whole egg and then I have five uh, tablespoons of butter. Then we're using one teaspoon of cardamom and one teaspoon of lemon peel. That's it. Let's mix it all up. So now I'm adding the cardamom, the orange peel to the flour. I'm adding the fruit mixture as well as the almonds and the raisins. Okay, and I'll mix it all up. Of course, I also have to add the rest of the sugar as well as the salt. And here it comes. And as sure, soon as the yeast mixture is ready, I'll mix it all in a bowl. And in the meantime, I also melted the butter. So here we have the yeast mixture. It's all been dissolved. I pour it in the bowl now. And to that, I'm going to add the melted butter. Mix it up a little bit. Then I add the one egg. There it is. Mix that in there. And in the meantime, I also mixed all the flour with the rest of the ingredients, the cardamom, the lemon peel, the raisins, and the fruit mixture as well as the rest of the sugar and the salt. So now I can start pouring this into the milk yeast mixture. Little by little I'm adding it and eventually I'll be kneading it. of it and mix it all up thoroughly. So I've been mixing it by hand for a little while. Now I'm going to finish it up on the table and then I'm going to let it rest for about an hour when I'll punch it down and let it raise again. Okay, so just keep kneading for a couple of minutes. Okay, 
okay I can now put it back in the bowl and I'll cover it up and I'll be back in about an hour so I punch it down and now I'm going to cut it in half actually I'm cutting it into four pieces and then I'm going to roll it piece to a long string okay I just roll it out and then I'm going to braid it and after I have rolled all four pieces so now I just twist it there we go and then the other two I'm twisting. Okay, and of course you can bake each bread like that, or what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a wreath. I think that makes it kind of festive here for the holidays and just squeeze it together okay and then I'm going to put it on the baking sheet and let it raise for leave it there for about an hour before I bake it so of course I sprayed the baking sheet and I'm covering it up and leaving it there till it's double in size. Okay, I'm ready to put the wreath in the oven, but first I'm going to brush it with egg wash. So here we have it. Just brush it all over. And then I'm going to decorate it a little bit with some red cherries because I think it looks festive. It's very colorful and looks pretty on the wreath. So here we, I stick them on there a few places. And of course this is optional, but I think it gives a nice touch to the Christmas wreath. And now I'm going to stick it in the oven at a degree of 425. And finally, I sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon sugar on top of the wreath. And it's ready to go in. And I'll probably bake it for about 25 minutes. So slice a piece. And uh, I'm going to taste it. I look forward to that. And here you can see some of the fruit filling. I like to eat with butter. Take a little bit on there. And let's have a bite. And here we go. Mm. It is good. Mm. I love it. Mm -hmm. I like the nuts, raisins, the spices. Everything's good. Please enjoy. Good Yule, Merry Christmas, and school.